Let's turn to a different kind of bank, Goldman Sachs. They had a fellow there named Ryan Thal who had a couple of hedge funds. He left because they wanted to close down those hedge funds, so he decided to go out on his own Chanel. He's raised 200 million bucks so far. We've seen a whole handful of people striking out on their own. Something interesting about Ryan Thal in particular is that he's being backed by HS Group, which is back, which is started by a former Blackstone and Goldman employee. So spinoff investing in another spinoff. Uh, he's not the first person this year launching a hedge fund backed by something that's not a bank. Um, we have Jack Woodruff, for example, at Citadel being backed by Ken Griffin. We have another Citadel person being backed by Paloma. And so you see uh, other hedge funds and asset managers starting to see these newer funds coming into this year, which as we know, the whole industry has been quite challenged for the last couple of years. They're, they're making a bet on volatility and it's now. it's a way for Goldman to get some risk off their balance sheet, right? Certainly. They don't have to have the same risk-weighted assets if, if some of their former partners out there running their hedge fund. Right. The thing about... And it can be a customer. Exactly. Can be, it can, it can, certainly, that's a good thing about the spinoffs for all of these banks. Well, but my question with that is that it, does it say something about overall bank environment that you're having these guys strike out on their own, or does it have to do with the fact that there's just a lot of money that's easy to fundraise? Like, how do you understand it? Um, I think one of the big things that people talk about when they talk about all of these spinoffs is that there's a little more patient capital when you don't have to be wedded to a large institution. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the hedge fund industry has seen a lot of pressure because markets have just gone up. Hedge funds do better when there is a lot of volatility in the markets, not too much, but a good amount of volatility. But the banks don't like to see that up and down. They want more stability when it comes to their numbers. So perhaps it's better to be a client than it is to be part of the bank.